Hey friends, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here and you're interested in high quality electric skateboard videos like board and product reviews, as well as ride videos, I'd love to invite you to subscribe with notifications and join the eSkater crew. It goes a long way to supporting the channel and ensures that you never miss out. In this review, we're taking a deep dive into the native eScape backpack by Ultabags. Now, full disclaimer, Ultabags did very kindly send out this bag for me to give an honest review, and they've allowed me to be as candid as I like when sharing my thoughts on it. What that tells me as a reviewer is that Ultabags are confident that their products speak for themselves. So this review is totally unbiased. I've waited about a month before making this video so I can bring you some real world use experience. As usual, timestamps in the comments and description. That said, let's get right into the review and into the first section, that being use cases. There's a whole variety of situations where the Ultabag native will serve you well, like carrying your board on public transport, carrying your board home if it runs out of battery or it breaks on a ride and you can't fix it. It's even great just as a general everyday high quality bag, but I wanna focus on the use case of carrying a second board whilst riding. I remember towards the start of 2020 before the pandemic absolutely obliterated the year. I would sometimes carry a second board whilst I was actually riding. One of my friends had an issue with his board and wanted to come on our group ride. So I was riding my Evolve board and carrying my Booster V2 on an Evolve sling. Now the sling did do its job, but it was just really uncomfortable to carry. My Boosted board took a couple of pretty rough impacts when it was swinging around and hitting lampposts whilst I was navigating tight city pavements. I really couldn't enjoy my ride whilst transporting my other board with the sling. And in this scenario, I think the altar bag would have been perfect. I could have secured the board safely to my back and forgot all about it until we met our friend. Also, after I lent my friend the board, I was left to carry the Evolve sling in my bigger bag and it just takes up more space than you want it to. The Ultra bag, on the other hand, is designed with the board carrying technology as standard. So it's not taking up any additional space that could otherwise be used for your accessories. More on the board carrying tech later, but now let's go through a rundown of all the bag's compartments and features. So starting on the outside, you're gifted with an abundance of pockets for all your small accessories, etc. On both sides of the bag, you can find a slim pocket, perfect for carrying your remote or other small items like shred lights. And you also have a water bottle holder on either side with an elastic strap to keep your bottle or speaker snug inside. I find myself sometimes using this pocket to leave a power bank and I'll connect a cable to charge my remote or phone, which I leave in the smaller pocket next door. Next, we have another two pockets on either side of the bag one of them is a deep pocket groove where I sometimes keep my iPad mini and a wallet. And on the adjacent side is a quick access pocket to the main compartment of the bag. This bag also features helmet storage straps, which I think are really ingenious. They're super easy to use and will store your half lid or full face helmet perfectly for when you're off the board. I can see this coming in really handy when using public transport and it's really steamy. Just take your helmet off and stick it onto your altar bag. The reflective strips found on the water bottle compartments on either side of the bag and on the shoulder straps are a great addition. Anything which helps to highlight your presence to road users during night rides is great and I really encourage it. In my testing, light rebounds off the strips really well, making them super effective. And I think the Alter Bags logo on the front of the bag is also reflective too. The entire outer material of the bag is made from premium material and it really shows. Alter Bags use 1680D ballistic nylon and it does feel robust and extremely durable. It gives me confidence that if, God forbid, I take a high speed crash and land on the bag, it won't just crumble and disapparate on impact with the road surface. One feature which I really love and haven't really seen anyone discuss yet is the waist strap. Now some owners probably miss it because it's hidden inside the bag and needs to be pulled out for use. The bag does feature a chest strap, but together with the waist strap, it really takes the weight of the board you're carrying off your shoulders and distributes it across your entire upper body. I've walked with this bag for 20 minutes and ridden for 40 minutes carrying the X-Ray Flex, and I was shocked at how comfortable it was, to the extent that at times, I even forgot that I was carrying a board. The back padding of the bag is also great. Like many premium bags, it features a channel running down the middle 
for increased airflow and keeping the wearer cool. The Autobag Native Series is fully expandable. If you need less storage space inside the main compartment of the bag, you can roll up the top of the bag and secure it with a robust clip. But if you're traveling, for example, with a lot of things to carry and you want to make the most of the bag storage space, you can easily unclip the top and unleash its full storage potential. What I like about this is that unlike many other eSkate bags, it gives you, the rider, the choice of how big you want your bag to be, depending on the situation you find yourself in. The roll top design of the bag makes it great as an everyday bag, not only because you can easily have access to more storage if you need it, but also if it rains, the contents of your bag are much less likely to be exposed to water as it will just roll off the top of the bag. Also at the top, you can find a reinforced handle which can help you get the bag on your back once you've fitted your board. If you use the bag with the top rolled in, you might find it annoying to have to unclip it, unfold it and unzip it to get access into the main compartment. Well, Autobags thought of that already and that's why the front of the bag features a quick access pocket into the main compartment. It's perfect for if you need to grab a charger or a pump in a rush that's in the main compartment. Inside your Ultabag Native, you'll find a small pocket with a zipper, perfect for keeping your wallet or keys so they are out of reach from pickpockets. The inside also features a padded laptop sleeve which will accommodate any 15 inch or less laptop. It fits my M1 MacBook Pro perfectly. I love the attention to detail in the design of this bag. I noticed that the bottom of the laptop pouch doesn't end at the bottom of the bag, but rather it's stitched just a bit higher. And that ensures that when you put your bag down on the ground, your laptop is safe from impact. The interior of the bag is a bright lime green, and that isn't to appease your eyes. It's more so to help you locate things inside the bag when it's dark. This bag is the Mini Native and it can hold up to 16.5 litres, which is more than plenty of space in my experience. But if you do need more, its bigger brother, the Maxi, can hold up to 28 litres. Now if you wanted to, you could also slot your Arca accessories pack straight into the main compartment of the Native bag. That would give you the ultimate eSkate bag experience. I've tested it and it fits perfectly. You can hold a whole bunch of small items in there like chargers, battery banks, lights and pumps, tools, you name it and then still have space in the main compartment to include a jacket if you like. Despite using another premium bag from Swiss Gear and other camera bags, I've quickly started gravitating towards the Ultra bag for daily use, even outside of eSkate. The features on the bag just make it really practical to use and the general high build quality and attention to detail wins me over every time. Being someone who e-skates to commute, this bag is even more ideal for me. I didn't think that the board carrying technology feature would be so handy, but it's actually great to have. The Autobag's native backpack comes in four variations to suit your needs. Native Mini in Dove Grey and Native Maxi in Dove Grey, Native Mini in Midnight Black and Native Maxi in Midnight Black. Autobags say the mini bag is ideal for boards up to 10 inches in width and 17 inches of wheel to wheel clearance. They don't advise customers using a board longer than 32 inches, although they will fit. The Maxi is made for boards longer than 32 inches, up to 11 inches wide and with a wheel clearance of 22 inches. If you're a regular skater as well as an e-skater, you'll be glad to know that all native backpacks will carry your regular longboards too. You can always reach out to them by email or on Instagram for advice on which bag you need. That's a great segue into customer service. And let's just say the Ultabags team know how to take care of their customers and you won't be disappointed in their service whatsoever. Anyway, from here, let's take a look at how the Ultabag actually carries your board. So whilst the native backpack is an all-round great bag, its unique selling point is its ability to carry your electric and non-electric skateboards and longboards. After all, Ultabags is a brand founded by eSkate riders for eSkate riders. First of all, let's take a look at the process of attaching a board to your Ultabag. To attach a board, undo the top two fasteners, one and two, and then you can unzip the back compartment of the back. Do that fully, unzip it fully, and then you can open up the bag just like a book. Inside you'll find a board cover, leave that to a side for a second, and you'll find the straps. 
So if you put the straps to one side, you'll find that you have three straps inside. One strap which will go underneath your board and secure it from the bottom of the truck. And then two straps which will go over the board and tighten it and fasten it onto this compartment. So if we leave this to a side for just a second, what we're gonna do is we're gonna put our board cover onto our board. So what I've got here is an X-Wave Flex board. Awesome board by the way, review coming soon. And this is the board cover. We'll just put it on one side, then on the next side, and we'll put it around the edges too. So that's ready to mount onto our bag. We're gonna bring in our board with the bottom of the board towards the bottom of the bag and we'll start to do these straps. So what I love about the design here is that Alter Bags included this small strap that seemingly has no function, but what it actually does is it protects your deck from the strap making impact with it and scraping the deck. And you can really see how Alter Bags have thought of everything here. So we'll clip that first one and then we can just tighten that. Probably move the board a bit down as well. And then the same on the other side. And we'll just tighten that as well, as much as we can. And the last step is you have a clip here, which you're gonna put underneath your trucks. It's not absolutely essential, but it's probably good to do. And we'll just clip that in place there, okay? And then we can close up the bag. And on the side of the bag, you actually have your own zipper just for when you're carrying a board. And you'll just put that in like so and zip that up. The last thing you might want to do is to just redo the two straps that we undid in the beginning. And that will just provide a really solid connection between your board and the bag. Now the board cover serves three purposes. Firstly, it protects the inside material of the bag from wearing out over time when making contact with the grip tape on your board. And secondly, it stops the annoying scraping sound you get when your grip makes contact with the bag whilst walking. Lastly, it serves as another contact point between your board and the bag. The cover has two Velcro patches which line up with the Velcro patches inside the bag and ensures a more secure fit. I would recommend using the board cover wherever possible to elongate the lifespan of your Ulta bag. The amazing thing about the cover is that it's super adaptable. It works perfectly with a whole range of boards from Evolve GTRs and even larger boards to the X-Wave Flex and short boards too. The bag also uses the world-renowned high-strength chunky YKK zippers to ensure that you can use the board carrying technology reliably and without issue. A quick word on price. I'll concede that the Ulta Bag native bags are by no means cheap bags to buy, but that's because they aren't cheap bags to manufacture. I genuinely think you get your money's worth and more with the native Eskate backpack. The price can always be lowered on any product really, but that would inevitably involve compromising the build quality of the bag and lessening its features. In my view, Ulta Bags are charging a very reasonable amount for the product you're receiving in return. No complaints about the price from me. Now, I really love this bag and I struggled a lot to find things to critique about it. I'm really nitpicking here, but I'll mention two things that could perhaps be improved in the future. Firstly, more color options. This isn't so much of a personal point of feedback because black is my favorite color and I think my Ulta bag in midnight black looks stealthy and sleek. Ulta bags also offer their native backpacks in dove gray, but apart from these two colors, there are no other options. I do realize that this is a really harsh criticism to make because it's not exactly like Ulta bags have infinite funds to supply their bags in every color their customers desire. But maybe just having a few more colors like, I don't know, blue, yellow, and pink for Billy would better cater for their customers. The other point is also quite specific and not a big deal. Some premium bags out in the backpack market feature a solid base, providing a stable platform for the bag to stand upright. 
I'm torn on whether I want to see this feature with the Ultra Bag because it will permanently increase the weight and also the form factor of the bag. You'll no longer be able to compress the bag's size down when not using its full capacity. Also, depending on what you have inside, the bag will stand upright sometimes. On the flip side, having the bag stand upright all the time is quite convenient for when you have to drop it down to the ground and fish something out. I haven't mentioned price in this section because personally, I think the Ultra Bag Native is definitely worth what you pay. Yeah, come on. I think the overall quality of this bag and the attention to detail in the design is absolutely incredible. Ultabag's nailed tiny details like raising the laptop compartment so it doesn't hit the ground when you put the bag down, Velcro straps on the board cover, a hidden waist strap for better weight distribution when carrying your board, quick access remote compartments, a helmet holder, a roll-up design main compartment for convenience, and above all, a great board carrying system which is simple yet highly effective. I don't hesitate to recommend this bag whatsoever and I really see no reason why you should fork out even more money to get a more expensive eSkate backpack. If you're in the market for an eSkate bag or a bag to carry your regular longboard, look no further than the Ultra Bags Native Series. If you're looking to purchase this bag, feel free to use my discount code ASESKATER for 5% off. Just a few days ago, Alterbags announced on their Instagram that they would be giving away one Arca bag or some store credit every month. All you need to do is post a photo with your Alter bag and tag Alterbags. I highly recommend that you get involved because their bags are seriously some of the best eSkate accessories which I own. Anyway guys, that's all from me for now, but make sure you're subscribed with notifications turned on because I'll have some super cool content on the brand new X-Way Atlas coming up soon, as well as the X-Way Flex and Flux Motion boards. I'm super excited to be bringing these videos to you and I hope that you're pumped to be watching them. Peace.